interesting. You know what, though? Well, we're... I'm, I'm glad her boring life is interesting to other people, so I'm not the only one who has to sit here and like put right. up with the craziness every morning. The Sorry. craziness. Oh, Spencer. No. I you like my life, Spencer. You should hear some of the stuff I get out of this girl. It's absurd. Nice. I wouldn't want to repeat it. All right. The camera. So there, there was a check stand where everything okay. went wrong. Yeah. So yesterday I go and pick up some stuff for Robbie over in Trade Stock. Um, and I know exactly where it all is in Walmart. And I'm like, I'm going to be in and out of there so fast. So I go, and I go to the Speedy Checkout, which is a very misleading name like, at the Walmart. I mean, I can understand it being called the 20 items or less checkout, but speedy checkout, they need to remove that from the, the lane. So there's two people in front of me. I'm like, okay, this isn't going to take very long. I can handle this. Everything that could possibly go wrong at a cash register went wrong with these two people. The, right. the cashier was new, so she didn't know how to do some stuff. So it was, she, she didn't know what a check was. I don't think so. Like, this old man, you know, hands her this check, and she's like, um, I don't know how to run this. But she gave him this look like, I don't know what this piece of paper is, right. and that it equates to, like, like money. He had, he, had, <laughs> he had handed her, like, a dirty gopher or something yeah. like that. Wait. That's a perfectly like, viable source of <laughs> These were, oh, by the way, check this out. Massive race <laughs> Bone <laughs> appetit. Two dollars and like, nineteen cents. It's like a brick. It's like a brick, a crispy so, brick. So yeah. So she's like, then he's like, I want ten dollars in cash. You know. Right. So he wants so, cash back on a check. Yeah. And she's like, uh, I'm like, <laughs> like I want to just step back there and help her. So because I'm standing in line for like half an hour. Were you there half hour really? Yeah. No, I was in line for half an hour, not including like getting the stuff I needed to get for Robbie. What? Yeah. A half hour in and a, a check stand line? And a speedy check out. I'm like, I could have gone behind someone who had like five carts of groceries and gotten faster. But it doesn't end there. So at Springville. <laughs> this at woman went into labor right in front yeah. of us. No, at the Springville Walmart, they have a Subway inside instead of like the McDonald's. Right. So I was like, I'm really hungry after standing in line for half an hour. Right. Life so, is hard in the U.S. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I decided to... Wait, wait a minute. Is, is this what a bread line is like? <laughs> okay, go ahead. So I decided to go into the subway to get lunch for me and my... Or dinner for me and my significant other because we haven't eaten yet, right? right? So there's like two or three people in line ahead of me at the subway. And I'm like, okay... This won't be too bad. Subway goes pretty fast. It's right. pretty good. No, the two freaking Subway sandwich artists were like <laughs> gossiping about their like what they were going to do this weekend, like who was dating who. They were like standing there, and we're all waiting for our sandwiches to get made. And I'm like they were hearing taking about, their own sweet time. Yeah, I was like hearing yeah. about their weekend, like the next time they're going to work together. I'm sitting here. I'm so like, they were going slow. Yeah. They weren't just standing there doing nothing. Yeah, but, and then they had, like. They, they couldn't talk and put provolone on a. No, it was like. On a piece of what, what cheese do you want? And I'd say what I wanted. And then they'd like look at each other and talk. I'm like, can you at least put my freaking cheese on my freaking sandwich before, like, while you're talking? You <laughs> That's know? awesome. I was getting so Now go mad. and replay that and sub out freaking. <laughs> so go ahead. So, Yeah. And then, I don't know, I'm like getting so mad because I got one of the sandwiches toasted. I'm like, by the time this gets home, it's going to be like a popsicle because you're taking right. so long. So I get home, like we're eating our sandwiches and we find a string in the, sa in the sandwich. Oh. And so I'm like, this is Tell me it. this is part of like the baking process, you know. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not, right. I mean, if anyone out there, it's a Subway sandwich. Was it like a, chicken. like, was it like butcher string? Was yeah, it, it kind of like looked colored like that. Butcher string? Yeah. Okay, that, that can conceivably be. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's what I would choose to believe. <laughs> yeah. So they have like a little survey that you can take to get a free cookie at Subway. Oh, I took it. I'm like, I'm getting a free cookie out of this experience. So, <laughs> and I was kind of mean, but then I was like, you know what? So, my lovely BF is like, well, maybe you should call a manager and let them know that they have some employees that are less than right. spectacular. So, I did. 
And the manager had, like, I called, like, asking when the manager was there, and the manager had been there. Did you just say axing? I don't know. I think you I did. All right, anyway. Go ahead. You, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. I want to ax. Okay, so anyway. So but I. But you did this anonymously. Well, I called saying, like, hey, I took the survey for the free cookie anonymously. Right. So but you didn't put your name on it. No. Okay. Because so, you'll find more than string in your next sandwich. <laughs> well, so I call, and I'm like, you know, I don't want to be, like, one of those rude customers that's like, your service sucks, but, like... You're trying to be constructive. Yeah. So I was like, I just wanted to let you know. I was like, saying, I was your just service in there. sucks. <laughs> no, so I was like, you know, you're... I was just in there, like, an hour ago, and there were some problems that occurred. And she's like, okay, like what? And I was like, well, the two people that are, I don't know if they're still there, I'm assuming they are, but they were kind of more interested in talking to each other than right. making our sandwiches. And she's like, ugh, like as if she's had this, she's like, this happens all the time. Every time I put them together, at least one person complains about it. Right. And I'm like, you know, I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I don't want anyone to get fired. I just want you to be aware that there's this problem. And she's like, I'm just not ever having them work together again. I was like, oh, because I think that the guy was kind of crushing on the girl. So now I feel like I've ruined this guy's love life. Oh, it was, hold on. So it was a guy and it a girl. It was a guy and a girl. Oh, why did I imagine Tara, two girls? master relationship destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey. My relationship is successful. I just hey. destroy others. Hey, guys, are you busy hitting on that girl you know? Well, let Tara into your life, and she will make sure you That's never right. get any of No, that. when I was in, like, li <laughs> no, I, listen, when I was living in an apartment complex in Provo, I was like, you know, I'd be, like, interested in a guy. We'd, like, hang out for a little bit, and then things would kind of, like, die down. And then the next girl that he dated... He ended up marrying. This happened like three times. Really? Yeah. I was like, well, I'm glad I can get other people married. So after you, the anything person, looks great. Yeah, I guess. Everything looks like marriage wow, material after you're done. So I don't know. Harsh. I'm just saying that's one theory that no, matches like, what the, well, you're here's saying. Here's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> if she likes a guy, immediately after like he moves on yeah. to another girl, he marries that girl. But if a guy likes another girl and she's around, she's ruining that. <laughs> I don't she, she will go out of her way yeah. to make that guy unhappy. I don't know. It was bad. The but fates of chaos. Yeah. Speaking of relationships, so Valentine's Day is coming up, right? Yes. I, I have no idea what to do for my BF. I'm, like, stumped. I love how she keeps abbreviating it like we're on Twitter or something. <laughs> The boyfriend, the boyfriend. Yeah, I don't know what to do. So, but like Valentine's Day and I don't necessarily get along very well. Yeah. Yeah. So my sister's birthday is on Valentine's Day. So <laughs> my, growing my up, my instinct here is to make a recommendation, and now I'm glad I didn't. Go ahead. <laughs> my sister, so my growing up, it was like you know Becca's birthday, not Valentine's Day. Like we'd get the Valentine's. Who's Becca? My sister. Oh, so okay. her birth, she was born on Valentine's Day. Oh wow. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, I love my wow, sister Wow, the pressure's to death. on, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. Um, so, I've only had, like, two other boyfriends on Valentine's Day. And the first one, I was, you know, like, whatever. It was good. The last guy, last year, I went all out for my boyfriend. I went and heart attacked his bedroom. Like, I spent, like, a week cutting out these hearts. Looks like mm -hmm. scrapbooking paper. Making, like, cute little sayings on him. Printed out all of these pictures of the two of us. Like, bought him all of his favorite candies, his, like, favorite soda, all of his stuff, mm -hmm. and went up and, like, decked out his bedroom. He, I drove all the way to Salt Lake to do this, right? Broke into his house. No, no, I did not break into his <laughs> That's house. Awesome. Took pictures of him <laughs> while he was sleeping. <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. Put those up on the wall in little hearts. <laughs> Licked so, his toothbrush. <laughs> so... And then like a month later part of me is with you always now <laughs> a Slurps. month later that got so creepy <laughs> <laughs> i did not do all that other stuff that they said i promise so a month later he broke up with me via text message awesome no you'd think he would have he would have put he would have cut all the hearts in half and yeah, something, like, with him. 
you know, man up. If you want to break up with me, like, don't be a pansy and do it. Really? It has to be in person? It doesn't have to be in person. It can be over the phone or something. But a text message, I think, is like a really chicken -y way to break up with someone. Okay. Like, if you don't I mean, care I've about them, that. like, you should be okay, like, breaking their heart in person, right. you know? I don't know. So, yeah, don't break up with people via text. I think it's really lame sauce. Hmm. So, yeah, so I don't know what to do for Valentine's Day this year. Well, men are pretty straightforward. You can't go wrong with food. Yeah. And if it's a gamer, you can't go wrong with miniatures. Yeah. I like how Sean's relationship advice is you can't go wrong with food is he's stubbing a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am actually eating thin mints back yeah. here. So, and I don't we, know. We are very appreciative of our clients sending us. Yeah, we, um, we've gotten a few, different, a few different clients have sent us, like, goodies. And two so on the same day. Yeah, two on the same day. And we've got, like, right, all like a package food. shows up with, like, stuff, food yeah, in it. Yeah, like, they use candy as their packing materials. And so Spencer and I will be unpacking these boxes. And we're, like, chocolate, Skittles, cookies. We love it. Well, it, was the one, it was the one package we got the other day. And there was like a flannel shirt at yeah. the top layer. And there's a note, and I opened it up and it says, Sorry about the packing material, but I thought you guys might enjoy it. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, Why is it the packing a flannel material? T you know, flannel t shirt. Well, and I lift great. it up, and there's just these two, like, Big bags two of pound Skittles. bags of Skittles, and I just scoop those up, add them on my desk. Yep. Yeah. Skittles Shane is your favorite. Share. Tara, what's your favorite candy bar? Oh, oh. I like Kit Kats. I don't know, it depends on the Kit Kat? Just what, list them. Start making um, a list. <laughs> I like shock tarts or shockers or yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, that's called. it. Shock tarts, I think. Is um, it. I like Kit Kats, and I, I pretty much like any chocolate candy, but I don't like dark chocolate. Okay. Yeah, for Christmas, any kind of chocolate. my grandparents, well, I guess Santa technically, got me um, like a big bag of Kit Kats, and I was like, oh, sweet, because I love them. But it had white chocolate and dark chocolate Kit Kats mixed oh. in. And I was like, what a bummer. Because yeah. I don't like dark chocolate or white chocolate. Just yeah. the milk chocolate. Standard um, chocolate. Yeah. Plain old chocolate. Mm -hmm. So Reese's are hyped there. I've been loving the Snickers lately. I don't know what it is. But I used to not like them because I didn't like peanuts. But now I love them. All right. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Tara. Thanks.